Hi, I'm Chef Ian Knauer at the Farm Cooking School, cooking fresh from Burpee's Cook's Garden. We are smack dab in the middle of tomato season, and one of the recipes that we'll cook today is my favorite tomato sauce. It starts with about three pounds of ripe tomatoes, and we're not even going to cook it. They're so perfectly wonderful that we just need to season them a little and toss it with a little pasta. It's a little unusual. Most of the pasta sauces that we eat are cooked, like a marinara sauce, but this one really takes advantage of ripe, ripe tomatoes. It's also really simple. It only has about five or six ingredients in it. The ingredients in this pasta sauce are fresh from the garden burpee steakhouse tomatoes, fresh garlic, some basil, a little lemon, and olive oil. With that, just some salt and pepper. We're going to add some garlic to our sauce, and this is raw garlic. And we don't want big pieces of garlic. You don't want a big chunk of garlic every time you take a bite, but we want to get that flavor in there. So we're going to mash this into a paste. First, we want to smash it, and then give it a good chop. Now we're going to take a big pinch of salt, sprinkle that on there. And the salt acts as an abrasive. It breaks up the garlic and turns it into a paste. We want to smash it and smear it with the side of our chef's knife. Now we want to add a little lemon. Now, we want the juice of the lemon, but we also want the zest. I think of zest as free flavored, so you might as well put it in there. I've got a microplane here. It's a good way to get lemon zest off of the lemon. I'm going to use all the zest from this lemon. We'll end up with two teaspoons, almost a tablespoon. Now I'm just going to cut this lemon in half, and then just squeeze it over the bowl. I'm going to squeeze it over my hand to catch any seeds that come out. Now I'm going to season this with a little salt, a little freshly ground black pepper, and about three tablespoons of olive oil. Now we're just going to whisk this together, get it all incorporated. Now we're going to add our tomatoes. We want two and a half to three pounds of tomatoes. And I'm going to cut around the core here, cutting down on either side of it. We're left with our really fleshy tomatoes, which are best for a sauce like this. And I'm just going to cut them in cubes, chunks. Could really be any size as long as they're bite size. Got our tomatoes chopped. I'm just going to slide them right into the bowl with that dressing. I've got about half a pound of cooked spaghetti here. You can use angel hair if you have that. I've tossed it with a little bit of olive oil so it doesn't stick together. And now we're just going to toss that pasta with our tomato sauce. Now, this is a great hot pasta dish. It's also really good at room temperature, so you can even make your pasta ahead of time. Now I'm just going to tear some basil, some fresh basil from the garden, put that right on the top. Again, this is my favorite summer tomato pasta. It's right from the garden. It's the only time of year to make this raw, fresh tomato sauce. 